Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to import SQL file data into MySQL database by using simple PHP script. This things we can easily do in PHP MyAdmin but when we have developed any app or plugin then at that time we want to make database dynamically. So when we have installed app or plugin then at that time we want to make table dynamically from SQL file. So we have made this simple video tutorial on how to import SQL table into MySQL database by using simple PHP script. This are testing one database we have already make into my PHP admin panel. We will import SQL table into this table by using PHP script. This is index page, on this we will make one HTML form form select SQL table file from our local computer, we can also read SQL file directly from working folder but here we will read file from HTML file tag. So first we have write HTML form tag with attribute method is equal to post and for upload file we have write encryption type is equal to multi part form data. Under this form we have define input tag with attribute type is equal to file and name is equal to database. By using this tag we can select file from local computer. Below this tag we have define submit button so we have write input type is equal to submit with attribute name is equal to import and value is also equal to import. Now we have moved to write PHP code and here first we have defined one dollar message variable is equal to blank value, in this variable we will store error and success message for display on web page. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have writes if function with dollar post import variable, this condition will check if value of this variable is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have again write if statement and under condition we have write dollar files database name value is not equal to blank. This condition check if we have select any file then this variable value will be not equal to blank and it will execute if block but we have not select any file then this variable value value blank and it execute else block of code. Suppose we have not select any file and directly click on import button then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to message like please select SQL file. But suppose we have select file then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write dollar array variable is equal to explode function with two argument. In string delimiter we have write dot and in second argument we have write dollar files database name variable. This function will convert string to array and store into dollar array variable. After this we have write dollar extension variable is equal to n function and under this function we have write dollar array variable. This function will return last value from dollar array variable. Now we have write of statement and under condition we have write dollar extension variable is equal to SQL, this condition will check if dollar extension variable value is equal to SQL then it will execute if block other it will execute else block of code. Suppose dollar extension variable value is not equal to SQL then it will execute else block and under this we have write dollar message variable is equal to text like invalid file. But suppose dollar extension variable value is equal to SQL then it will execute if block of code and under this we have first make database connection. So we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with four argument like host to locale lost, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing one. After making database connection we have define dollar output variable is equal blank value, in this variable we will store a query which we will fetch from SQL file. 
then after we have defined one more dollar count variable is equal to zero, we will use this variable value for check SQL successfully imported or not. If count variable value greater than zero that means there is some error in importing file but count variable value is equal to zero that means files successfully imported. Now we have write dollar file data variable is equal to file function and under this function we have write dollar files database temporary name. Here file function will read entire file from temporary source file location and convert selected file text data into array format and store into this dollar file data variable. Now we have write for each loop and under this we have write dollar file data as dollar row. By using for each loop we have read dollar file data array one by one by use dollar row as reference variable. Under this loop first we want to get start character of line, so we have write dollar start character variable is equal to substring function and under this function first argument we have write trim function with dollar row variable. In second argument we have write 0 and in last argument we have write 2. By using this code we can get start 2 character of line. After getting start 2 character now we have write of statement and under condition we have write dollar star character variable is not equal to 2 dash or dollar star character variable is not equal to slash star or dollar star character variable is not equal to 2 forward slash or dollar variable is not equal to blank. This condition for check if dollar start character variable value is not equal to 2 dash or slash star or 2 forward slash or dollar variable value is not equal to blank then it will execute if block of code. This all character is used for display comment under SQL file so we have skipped this type of line whose character star with this type of character. If above condition is satisfied then it will execute if block and under this block we have write dollar output variable and in this variable we have append value of dollar row variable. Here we have skipped all comment line and append only SQL query into this dollar output variable. Now we want to get end character of lines so we have write dollar end character is equal to substring function and under this function first argument we have write trim function with dollar row variable. In second argument we have write minus one and in last argument we have write one. This code will return last character from line and store in two dollar end character variable. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar and character variable is equal to semicolon, this condition will check if value dollar and character variable value is equal to semicolon then it will execute if block of code. Here we have check line last character is equal semicolon because SQL query has been end with semicolon, so we have check line last character is equal to semicolon. If particular line last character is semicolon that means query has been end and now we want to execute query, so we have write of statement and under condition we have write not my SQL query function with two argument like dollar connect variable and dollar output variable. Here we have store query and dollar output variable and this function will execute query if there is an error occur then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have increment dollar count variable value by 1. After successfully execute query now we want to clear value of previous executed query from dollar output variable, so we have write dollar output variable value is equal to blank value. Now we have write of statement and under condition we have write dollar count variable value is greater than zero. This condition will check if dollar count variable value is greater than zero then it will execute if block of code. Otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose dollar count variable value is greater than zero that means there is an error occurred in query execution. So it will execute if block and under this we have write dollar message variable is equal to message like there is an error in database import. 
but suppose dollar count variable value is equal to zero that means query successfully run and database also successfully imported then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to message like database successfully imported. Now we want the display dollar message variable on web page. So here we have write echo statement with dollar message variable. So it will display output message on web page. So here our code is ready so we have saved this code on check output in browser. Here friends you can see when page has been loaded in browser then you can see one file tag with submit button on web page. So when we have directly click on import button then we have received message like please select SQL file. So we have select SQL file for import SQL data into my SQL database. So after selecting SQL file we have click on import button. After clicking on import button we can see message like database successfully imported that means SQL data has been imported into database successfully. Now we have check into testing one database, there has been table imported or not. So here you can see one image table has been created into testing one database this table data has been imported from file which we have imported. That means our code on how to import SQL data from file to my SQL database by using PHP is working. So if you have any query regarding this video tutorial please comment under comment box. If you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If want to get more updates regarding our video tutorial please subscribe our YouTube channel and lastly thank you for watching this video tutorial.